Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory. Glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to go through the reason why we are here. Hey man of God, glory to God, our esteemed blue pastor. Hallelujah. This awesome opportunity again to gather here tonight. Glory to God. I love to recognize the presence of to party, listen to songs and dance. No, the presence of God is also very much available in God here in this place. The Bible tells us, is there ever two or three are gathered together in His name? It says, dear, peace in their name. Don't just be excited about the celebration, but let your heart be open. Because every ministration that will be coming to you tonight, we are going to receive words from some of our, our pastors. We are going to receive amazing words. Every one of them, they are going to excite us and they are going to bless our lives. Hallelujah. Now let us share this testimony with you as we wrap up this. You know, last week, uh, Saturday, we had uh, an awesome birthday celebration for our esteemed group pastor. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for that. It was an amazing celebration. Like our pastor told us, if we were not there, we missed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to put our hands together for our for this. Pastor, we love you, sir. Happy birthday, sir. Keep clapping now. The pastor keep clapping. Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Keep clapping. Glory to God in the high. Happy birthday, sir. You're welcome, sir. Glory to God in the high. Now, you may be seated. You know, just like I was sharing with us, now last week, as we were having that birthday, you know, we might just feel lots of times he has served. I never knew he served Reverend Ray that much. But today, look at where he is. Glory to God. And the lesson I learned from that birthday was this. Give your heart into everything that you are doing. Commit your best into it. Now you might just feel that, oh, I'm in Christ, I'm going to have grace today. But you might not know where your sacrifice of love, the Bible tells us that he does not forget our labor of love. You might not know where your labor of love is going to take you to. Hallelujah. Now I learned that lesson from that birthday party. I say that to say this. This is another birthday party. There are lessons to learn beyond the dance and every other thing. So open up your heart to receive all that God has prepared for you today. Hallelujah. So one more time, I want to especially welcome you to tonight's celebration. Glory to God in the highest. Put your hands together for Jesus. Glory to God. Now tonight we have lots of presentations, a lot of things to do to bless you and also get you excited. Now to start with tonight, we are going to listen to a poem from one of us. Hallelujah. And she's loaded and she's ready to bless us. So with a loud innovation, let's make welcome Heritage, put your hands together for her. Heritage, and I want to talk to you about my pastor, Pastor Fela. Who is Pastor Fela? P, passionate. Pastor Fela is passionate for the gospel. A, accommodating, accessible. S, shining light. T, tolerant, training, thankful, and tantalizing. Pastor gets us interested and excited about God's word. O, obedient, optimistic. A, radiant. F, follower. Pastor is Polo Polo and see what Polo Polo has made him to E, excellent, exemplary. Pastor is excellent and exemplary. N, loaded, too much money. A, awesome, amazing, astonishing. Pastor is awesome, amazing, and astonishing. Thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, one more time. Now, let me listen to a special for them. Come forward. Come forward. Those words have caused tremendous changes and has imparted my life possibly. 
Thank you so much, Pastor. I appreciate you for allowing me to function under your function. You are my father, you are my life coach, you are my mentor. Pastor, on behalf of myself, my family, Igoba brethren, we say thank you, we love you. I want you to know that you raised a champion and a victor. I love you so much, Pastor. Remain a bunny and a shiny light. Uh, I, when I came up, I was telling a story about our esteemed group pastor. How does he stand on our feet? We have a special guest, hallelujah. God, no way! What do you say to our dear pastor? Say it like you really mean. What do you say to pastor? We love you, pastor, sir. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. So please. <laughs> Rendition, glory to God, a special song, and I'm sure you are going to be blessed. Let's put our hands together as we make up from Chisco P. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for me. True love. True love. True love. Hallelujah. Sound group.
this love is amazing. That is what you need in your life. That is what you need. The celebration, and you know, Pastor is a very busy person, and but he took his time to be here just to say to express his love to our celebrant today. Please clap for Pastor. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I'm sure that Pastor will have something to say to us.
is his heart of service. That's right, Pastor. You know, <laughs> praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As of now, take it. I didn't know you had come in. We are supposed to be praying in church. <laughs> You know there's something. Eh? You are talking. I said, Pastor, write down where we are behind you. Pastor, write down. There are, there are people who are really behind you. When you told they are one kilometer behind you. <laughs> you, are, you are your way. Say, write down where we are behind you. We are <laughs> that. I said that to let you know when you said there is someone behind me when I turn, I will see him. <laughs> Solidly behind you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your selfless service. Thank you for your beautiful wife. Would you give her a big hand? We are very near. We want to see that. Is that okay? Yes. That's the one. She's under me. And we are grooming her for some. <laughs> Thank you for for your support. Thank you for being there. I don't want to make long speech today. But I want to tell you, God will never forget your people. Amen. Amen. Prophecies has gone before. Yes, the ones that I pass up the past will blow your mind. Amen. Amen. When, when, <clears throat> When God gives you, I hope I won't preach it. <laughs> he watches out how you handle it. If you handle it well, then you are the candidate for greater grace. So he starts, he gives you one. What did he say? What, what, look at the parable of the, of the talent. He gave one five, he gave one two, he gave another one one. The one that had five, Handled it very well. That was the one God gave him extra one. Because he handled it very well. He said, Enter into the joy of the Lord. He said, I will make you ruler of my name. Mm -hmm. So God gives you an opportunity. He gives you an assignment. He's watching how you're going to do it. When you do it well, definitely promotion is coming. Yes, sir. I want to let you know, as well, promotion has come. The one that God promotes, no man can bring down. No matter how much the evil one or the world plans, they can bring him down. God has promoted. Amen. Let church be grown. Amen. Now it has been growing, but you are going to experience faster growth. Amen. Growth numerically. Amen. Let me tell you something. Permit me to say this. You must honor him. There is a grace in carry. As you honor him, that grace flows through you. Listen, are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Grace is gotten huh? by participation. Participate. You don't get grace by clamor. Yeah, I love you. I'm great. I, I'm, I'm, I, 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 I can feel your grace. Tap into that grace, it will go to you. So honor him. Honor him. Was it last week? Was it, was it last week who had the birthday call for me? He has been in song in the whole ministry. And how all the pastors are praying for you. You know what that means. Honor him. The things he tells you to do, do them. You know why? Because that's what the things he's doing. We don't tell you to do anything that we don't do. It is what we are doing, we will tell you to do. If we say pray, it is because we are praying. If we say give, it is because we are giving. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. So follow him. He is a man of grace. We have come a long way. But where we are going to is bigger. Yes, sir. You understand what I mean? Yes, if place to conquer, <laughs> we will dominate the world. Yes, sir. This year, 2021, we will take over. Yes, sir. The grace available. Yes, 
Yes, and we are born in the month of grace. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I congratulate you, Pastor Bella. I congratulate you. Thank you. Thank you for the beautiful thing you do. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Your family is blessed. Amen. Your children are blessed. Amen. Your job is blessed. Amen. You are blessed in your body. Amen. Favor for you. Hallelujah. Increase for you. Amen. When good things are talked about, your name will pop up. Amen. God will chase away every evil from you. Amen. Men that have no honor and respect should not come near you. Amen. The Lord will locate people, put people in place to move you forward. Amen. You will take giant, you take giant strides. Amen. Even those who don't like you will work for you. Amen. Amen. Your soul group is blessed. Amen. This church is blessed. Amen. Nothing happened by chance. I was supposed to be in this meeting, but somehow I didn't know. But God wanted me to come. Yes, sir. That was why, irrespective of what happened, I'm here. I came with more grace. Hallelujah. And you will experience that grace. Yes. Amen. You will see testimonies from this grace. Amen. 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 Thank you so very much. Oh, Lord. I, I appreciate you. Now, you're doing so well. You are the, the reason you are doing well is because the person leading you is leading you right. Yes, sir. If he had not been leading you right, you can't do what you're doing. So keep doing what you're doing. Yes, sir. And have great time Amen. Yes, Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fella, it's from glory to glory. Amen. No stopping, no. No stopping. No stopping. No stopping. You know, there are things we can't see in the public, but when we see, we we'll talk. No stopping. Amen. From glory to glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Congratulations. Lord. I love you. My family loves you. Love you. The, what is our group? Escalate grace. No. Abundant grace is on you. Amen. And abundant grace of group loves you. Amen. Escalate grace loves you. Amen. Our group loves you. What's the name of the other one? Something Grace. Oh, they are champions. They all love you. And love from the Oxana Center. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Make sure. Make sure you eat the cake. Is that okay? Eat the cake. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the peace of God that passes all human understanding there is in your hearts and your mind. As you celebrate your pastor, people will celebrate you. Amen. As you have honored him, may we honor you. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. You can see this today. For you tonight. So ask to check your name and say, Neighbor Rila. Neighbor Rila. So there's so much for you tonight. There's so much for you Praise tonight. Say spiritually and physically. Spiritually and physically. Say we are ready. Yeah.
start again. You know, we already started. We have to talk because we have to receive. And we have the lambano. And because we have the lambano, we will just be flying. This year, our pastor said, he said he came with grace. How many of you received that grace? Since church. Let's put our hands together for them. Glory to God. You know, it's also a time to receive glory to God. In Christ's embassy, abundant grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Happy birthday, Pastor, one more time. Now, tonight we are going to have some people come talk to us about Pastor. Now, when people talk about Pastor, like I told us, listen, 
They are not just coming to flatter the person. They are talking because there's something that in us reality. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want us to put our hands together as we make welcome. Thank you. You know, we've been, we've been, we've been together for a long time. Telling the story of his life is a fire thing. That's why we keep telling it so that he can hear and learn. As a brother had a car in those days, when we were still, long time ago, when Pastor Neil was here, we called it ministry car. If we are going to evangelism, we call Prophet Lai, he's, up, he's always available with the car. If we are going on visitation, we call Prophet Brof, uh, Lai, the car is always available. As a matter of fact, that car got grounded by the ministry. He actually sold it to the ministry. And for many years, he was without car. He goes to his church in, uh, in Dore with public transport many times. After his car was grounded by the ministry, and he did it all with joy. And when things start happening like this, it's as a result of the seed that he has sown in the past. I tell the story to tell you that whatever you are doing in the ministry today is a worthy person to emulate. And his story is actually a story of abundant grace. What he has sown in the past is what is reaping today. And like Pastor has said, it's just the beginning. It can only be from glory to glory. Because you have sown the seed. And the harvest is what you are seeing today. If you work at the, our esteemed pastor's bed, uh, esteemed Reverend, Reverend Ray talks about follow, follow, right? Follow, follow principle. You followed Pastor Chris. You followed Pastor Nee. You follow all the pastor. Follow, follow all this why. And that is the reason why the grace is working in your life. And that will be your testimony in Jesus' name. Happy birthday, sir. I'm inspired by your faith. And I know we are taking this my group pastor. And one of them, my church is one of the church under him. And I know we are tapping the same grace. And you hear testimony from God as well. So we have all the brethren in Obali. Happy birthday, sir. We wish you happy birthday and we love you. Let's get up for him once again. Calling on Brother Kabad, Hallelujah, He's the head of missions all the way from the group for glory to God. Let's put our hands together for him as a chance for him. Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep on for him. Thank you very much. Happy birthday, man. Nobody said they're happy birthday. It's happy birthday to you now. Say happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, man. Praise the Lord. I want to say this happy birthday to esteem Pastor Villa. You know, one person was talking about um, Pastor Bela. I know what Pastor was talking about, praise the Lord. <laughs> At least the people. There are some things that you see that will inspire faith to you, glory to God. I would love for you to say that the first time I came to this church, they were less than 40. That was about two years ago. But today, we can see that this year, praise the Lord. It is good from glory to glory, from grace to grace. Of course, I'm head of missions, hallelujah. And that was saying that make you smile. Glory to God. Each time I see him, I smile. Because I know something must happen. <laughs> Happy birthday, sir. And like Pastor has said, it's going to be from glory to glory, from strength to strength, from increase to increase. Now, this church has become an incubating center. Praise the Lord. I said, this church has become an incubating center. This church will give birth to many churches. This church will give birth to many churches. If you give it to many groups in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, I was here last two weeks, um, two Sundays ago, and I had a meeting with the leaders of the church. There was something I told them. I said, your pastor is not a um, small person in our soul, in our group or in our region. He's a man to be reckoned with, praise the Lord. Glory to God. If you mention his name, Pastor Kenan from Christ, and you don't have to ask for which church, Pastor Gabriel wants. Glory to God. You know what I'm talking about? Because of his impact in the ministry. Now, if Pastor Gabriel knows him, that Pastor Chris knows him. Glory to God. To let you know the impact and the kind of person we are celebrating today. We are celebrating grace. We are celebrating excellence. Glory to God. We are celebrating exploit results in our application. You know, Pastor came here. Pastor saw almost everything that we need to make sure is being replicated here. <laughs> Glory to God. It shows the kind of vision and the kind of excellence that your pastor has. We need video talk show, video shout out. We can see it happen here. 
Pastor celebration is happening here. Glory to God. It's all about excellence. Hallelujah. And that is how we are raising ministry. You follow those two feet of table reports. Hallelujah. Your pastor two feet and patient, like I think he said, has obtained good reports and good testimonies, which I employ everyone in this church to emulate your pastor, covered for the grace. Glory to God. The grace he has is not for himself, but the grace is for you who are the members of the church. The more you participate in the grace that Pastor has said, you become a partaker of the grace in his life. And I implore you to do so and to be from glory to glory for you. Amen. Happy birthday one more time, sir. Thank you, sir. And lastly, happy birthday, man. You know we appreciate that. I love you from my heart. Happy birthday. You'll be sorry for me. You need to cover me. I'm head of missions. Thank you. That for me now. Ah, Glory to God. Now we're going to call another person. Now she's the head of Children's Church here in Christ Embassy. Abundance. Let's make welcome Sister Julia or Akiola. Praise the Lord. She knows a lot about pastor. Put your hands together for her to come for us. Good evening. I celebrate you, sir. Wow, Pastor is a great man. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Pastor, I celebrate you once again. Pastor is a man of God and is a man of prophecy. Mr. Back here in Akure today is, is, is uh, from is the word of prophecy from the from the man of uh, from my pastor's mouth. Because pastor is just too loaded. When he look at you, he reads everything about you. Anything he say. Is what is it's just like Pastor reads, he has no your mind. So Pastor is a man of prophecy, he's a great man. I don't know how to as in my today it will not be enough for me to explain the kind of person Pastor is to me. He's a wonderful man, and I call him my father. Indeed, he's a father. Praise God. He's a father. On behalf of my family, Pastor, I celebrate you, sir. On behalf of Children's Church, we celebrate you. Shining life, celebrate you, Pastor. Pastor, I love you so much. Happy birthday, Ma. I love you, Ma, too. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. One of the things I've learned in life, you know, life is about impact, making impact, touching the lives of people. And that's why the Bible talked about Jesus. You see how Jesus was anointed with the Holy Ghost. The Bible talked about him that he went about doing good, healing the sick, raising the dead. That was the life of Jesus. His life was all about impact. And you know, those talking about pastor tonight, it's not just and ask myself, what do people, the way people talk about me, I ask myself, are you sure? Are you are you sure? Have you made those impacts? You know, until I said, raising a esteemed man of God, knowing that indeed he has made impacts. And every one of us here were giving testimony to that. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Pastor Glory to God. Don't forget what I told you at the beginning of this meeting. You know, it's not just about the celebration, but learning lessons. Hallelujah. Learn lessons. Glory to God in the highest. Now we're having a spoken word. Hallelujah. Beautiful spoken words and we are going to make well abundance. <laughs> The children are always excited and full of joy. Not because of the bobo and biscuits you give to them every Sunday, but because of your loving hearts and your fatherly care. The children are exceptional, and every of their peers are always asking, why do they shine like this? Even the adults have become so bold, facing situations, crushing challenges, trampling on circumstances. While others, they chew because they have become bread for them. One by one, we all came, sick, jobless, full of burdens and yoke, and confused about life. But gradually, as the goldsmith removes impurities from the gold, with your words, you have removed every impurities. You have washed us with water by the word. See who we are now. 
See what God has done in us through you. How we thank you for the numerous words of prophecy that you give. At the snap of the finger, they come to pass. Maybe I should show you one of such prophecies.
blessed again. Hallelujah. Let's make welcome Sonny Wheels. Put your hands together for him. Give him a shout. Very special. Happy birthday to you, sir. You uh, you have been a great blessing to me personally. You've been a huge inspiration, and today I celebrate you very specially, sir. Happy birthday, sir. Wow. Sound of Spain. This is dedicated especially to Pastor. Sound of Spain. I celebrate a special gift from heaven. Pastor, I love you. It was a gift from God to me. Today I celebrate a very special person, a very special father. Pastor, I love you. And I say, Happy birthday, Pastor. Pastor, I love you. You're shining light, and I say happy birthday, Pastor. I love you, Pastor. I love you. Mm -hmm. Your God's gift to me, your God gives to us all. You made so much to us. You shine like a bright star, like a shooting star. You are. You shine for so long. And pastor, today I jump the host of heaven to say, I say and I wish you a very special birthday, a very happy birthday, pastor. I love you. I say, I, I say, pastor, happy birthday, happy birthday. I love you so dearly. I love you so dearly, and I say happy birthday, happy birthday, Pastor. I love you, Pastor. I love you. Happy birthday, Pastor Sir. Thank you so much for being a blessing. I love you personally, Sir. Happy birthday. And the pamphlet called That's all the realities. Thank you, my lord. Thank you, my lord. Thank you, my lord. My lord. About this case before this court today, which is uh, about the promoters of the Bible and the fact of God as a reality. My Lord, these books are known to be instruments to perpetrate evil in our society. These books have caused a lot of chaos, thereby turning parents against their children. Not only that, my Lord, as we all know that there are rules and regulations governing the reading of the community. These books have not only come to kick against those truths, my Lord, but they have also come to abolish them. During the course of my finances, I came across an Hebrew announcement which says, we are above the rulers of this world. My Lord, that statement alone could instigate war. To my understanding, it means that the promoters of these books we will be taking over the authorities of this community. My Lord, may I seek the leave of this court to present a witness that will shed more light. Present. Kindly come forward and step into the witness box. Chief Professor Saul of Tassos. Hereby affirm. That all the evidence. That all the evidence. I shall give. I shall give. In this court. In this court. Will be the truth. Will be the truth. And nothing. And nothing. But the truth. But the truth. So help me, so help me God. Thank you, my Lord. Address and what you do for you. <clears throat> Thank you. My name is Chief Professor Saul of Tassos. I live at number 44, the street called Street, and I am a custodian of the law. Okay? Are you aware 
that your community brought a case before. Thank you, my lord. Uh, my lord, like you know, uh, we as a community, we are a peace-loving set of people. And there are these two books that we are talking about. Um, the Bible and one pamphlet we call Rhapsody of Reality. Since those books came into our community, there have been chaos everywhere. My Lord, it will amaze you. Some months ago, we need the authority of the law for the sake of peace and to ensure that everybody is safe. We said no synagogue should open for worship. But it will amaze you, my Lord, that this particular synagogue being uh, ruled by one rabbi that we call a pastor Fela, he ensured that the synagogue opened and he instigated his people to come to the synagogue. My Lord, we had to mobilize our guards to that synagogue. But when they got there, every one of them was hypnotized. And when they came back, they made no arrest. And we asked them what happened. All they had to say was that uh, nobody talks like him. Imagine. For this reason, my Lord, I had to go to the synagogue one day myself. I disguised. I went to the synagogue. It will amaze you what I saw. On that particular day, I saw this same rabbi called Pastor Fela. He brought out a huge sum of money. You know, I'm very rich. But the money I saw that day, I've never seen it before. And he said he was using it to sponsor uh, one material they call Rhapsody. And immediately after that, all his followers started bringing out money in large quantity. What annoyed me was that my own beloved son, the money I gave to him for upkeep, he also brought it out and gave it for this pamphlet. I discovered that this action was caused by this material, pamphlet, Rhapsody of Reality, and that Bible. So I had to do extensive research as a professor of the law. When I opened the book, I saw in one book, Jesus said um, he has not come to bring peace at all. Sorry, Chief Professor So. Yes. You said that man, Jesus, yes. said what? He did not come to bring peace. Okay, okay. But he has come to turn the hearts of the sons against their father and the hearts of the mother against their children. I said that was not enough. I flipped to another book in John. That same Jesus was saying that um, except you eat my body and you drink my blood, you are not a part of me. My Lord, this set of people are cultists. From my research, I discovered that they are all cultists. They are blood-sucking and flesh-eating people. And we don't want them in our community again. Thank you, my Lord. Okay. Chief Professor Saul of Tarsus. Yes. What do you want this honorable court to do for you? Thank you. My Lord, I will want this honorable court to ensure that this pamphlet is causing chaos, perhaps only a reality that it is permanently banned from our community, not only our community, but every other community, and in fact, banned from all over the world. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you. That's all the for the witness, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord. You said your name is Mr. Saul of Titus. No, 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 no. I am Chief Professor Saul of Tassos. <laughs> oh, pardon. Chief Professor Saul, I have a few questions for you. For how long have you been a professor of the law? <laughs> uh, like I said before, I've been a professor of the law for over 30 years of my life. And for the past 30 years, you've been able to do a lot of research Definitely. that has been published Definitely. and has circulated. Definitely. Yes. Chief Professor So, you said you did a thorough detailed study Extensive about this book, right? Research. Yes. My Lord, in research that I am aware of, you did deep into the subject of the matter you are researching on, my Lord. Chief Professor So, I am aware that you did not do a research on this book because even the book itself says that we do err not knowing the scripture, not the power of God, and put it before you, Chief Professor Saul of Tassos, that you are void of knowledge, and that all the research and certificate that you claim to have acquired all these years, that they were acquired through oh, my Lord. Judge Rocks of counsel for the defendant. I think you should use less computational words against my Lord. Defendant. Thank you, my Lord. Yeah,
in your research, in your own research, yes. did you come across a part of the book that talks about how that same man Jesus you talked about when he was going around doing good? Um, um. How he fed 5,000 people with five fishes, with five loaves of bread and just two fishes. Chief Professor Saul of Tassos, did you even read about how he restored sight to the blind? How he made the lame walk again? How this same man raised back to life a dead boy to his crying mother? Chief Professor Saul of Tassos, yes, you said you did a detailed study about this book yes, and find it to be evil. Yes. My lord, this chief was as a soul of Tassos took an oath before this honorable court that he will say only the truth and nothing but the truth. Did it you? Yes, I did. And put it to you, Chief Professor Saul of Tassos, that you did not take your time to study this book and that you are a liar and have deceived us and should be put behind the bars. That's all you, Chief for the present. For the witness, my lord. Okay, counsel for the plenty. Do you have any re-examination for the witness? None, my lord. My lord, may I see the indulgence of this court to discharge the witness? Thank you, my lord. Give me step out of the witness box. about these two books, the Bible and the Rhapsody. I find out that this book has brought about a great turnaround in the economy of this community, my Lord. Also, this book has transformed the community, has reduced drastically. And this is as a result of this same book that the people have been reading, my Lord. May I seek the leave of this court to present you a witness, my lord, who will shed more light on this case. Thank you, my lord. Chief Professor Nicodemus. Present. Kindly step forward into the witness box. Hi. Hi. Your name? Chief Professor Nicodemus. Yeah, by sweat. Yeah, by sweat. That all the evidence. That all the evidence. I shall give. I shall give. In this court. In this court. To be the truth. To be the truth. And nothing. And nothing. For the truth. For the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. Amen. Please, can you tell this honorable court your name, your address, and what you do for a living? Thank you, my lord. My name is Chief Professor Nicodemus. I live at um, the street of um, Eye of Nigel. I'm a custodian of the law. Why have you chosen to come as a witness to defend the Ramsori and the Bible, knowing fully well that you are from the same community and from the same sect? as Chief Professor Son of Tassos. Um, thank you so much. Thank you, my lord. Um, what I said to myself before coming is, if it's not now, then when? And if it's not me, then who? Can you tell this honorable court what you know about this case? Thank you, my lord. Um, first of all, I would love to talk about um, the promoter of this uh, material, Pastor Fela. I've met with him so many times privately and he has taught me so many things from the book secretly and that is why I have decided I will make a huge decision to, to come out boldly and talk about this material. My Lord, this man, Rabbi Pastor Fela, he is full of wisdom. My Lord, he smiles and encourages. My Lord, he does not, he does not everything, my Lord. Even his thought brings life. My Lord, if you are with him and he talks to you, ah, his talk, like his talking, springs healing. It's 
inside of you. If you are with a broken heart, it was ah, it was bring healing to you. If you are poor, it was bring riches because it speaks the truth. Sir, so, this man, Pastor Fela, is accommodating, welcoming, loving, and kind to everybody. My Lord, there is a popular testimony that even um, Chief Saul of Tarsus is aware of. Our, the, the doctor of our governor is suffering from um, um, a disease called um, systemic lupus eraputus. Era like, and she ended the disease from birth. And my Lord, that's not, that's not everything. So, my Lord, this um, disease paralyzes our brain, paralyzes our body, paralyzes everything about her. This lady is not, um, is not complete as a human being, as I am. My Lord, so, and this lady was miraculously healed. He did her hand touch this, touch around to me. Like from the um, at the crusade organized by this um, rabbi and pastor Fela. And my Lord, even our economy has been booming. Things have changed in our economy, in our in our community. Everything is now we are not living richly in our community. My Lord, even our youth, the ones that are jobless have been getting jobs. My Lord, even the ones, our youth, the ones that are big world, the ones that smoke and do uh, a lot of things. My Lord, to your surprise, they are now in church. They have been converted and they are now in church. If you see them, they respect everybody. They show love to everybody. My Lord, my wish and the community wish is that we want this material, this um, this rhapsody and the Bible, because um, it's a it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a world that, that, that has accomplished a lot in our in, in our community. It has caused a lot of good things in our community. We want it um, to remain in our community, my Lord. That's um, that's why I have come to this to defend this um, book shop. Thank you, my Lord. That's only cheap for the weakness. May I seek the leave of this course to discharge the weakness? Thank you, my Lord. Please can we step out of the witness box? This is the judgment of this honorable court. According to the plaintiff in this case, the books, the Bible, and the rhapsody of reality have been said to be evil and malicious. As according to them, these books are said to contain texts that are capable of inciting war and breakdown of law and order. They have also accused a group of people in this community, being led by one pastor Feda Olorunmodimu, of breaking law and order in this community, and for heavily sponsoring these materials and also encouraging members of his congregation to do the same. They also labeled this group as cultists and cannibalists. They have therefore approached this court to stop the further spread of these materials, not just in this community, but in the world over. The defendants in this case on the other hand, have been able to prove with all available facts that these books have been proved to boost the economy of the community and that they are books that bring about good life, prosperity, joy, unending happiness and fulfillment. It is therefore a book that should be in the hands of everyone on earth. In my own opinion, Chief Professor Saul of Tassos has not taken his time to do a thorough research on the subject matter. He has only drew his conclusions based on his biased, myopic, and improper knowledge about these materials. He should have taken his time to do a thorough research on these books, humble himself, and know what uh, people that have been supporting these books are benefiting. This is therefore my judgment. These books, 
the Bible and the rhapsody of realities are not malicious and evil as claimed. The sponsors of this book, these books being led in this community by Pastor Fela Olorunmodimu have not erred in any way against the law. All around the world and in all languages, not just that, every of these books I rise. That we are praying. And as long as we are praying, this material is being spread all over the nations of the world. In the day. And we have a beautiful name. That is going to God. Let's put our hands together as Sister Kevin comes to me.
This is awesome. Hallelujah. This is awesome. Awesome. Glory be to God. My esteemed group pastor for giving me the opportunity to be here today. Hallelujah. I also want to welcome all our pastors, coordinators, as a group pastor to this special occasion. We are all here to celebrate an icon of grace. Pastor of Allah has been a remarkable blessing, not just to the member of the church, but to the ministry as a whole. Hallelujah. Amen. You can go ahead and clap. You know, I'm having, all the while I was here, I was, I'm a pastor too, and I've been observing, watching, and one of the things that caught my attention while all the presentation was going on was the excellence in the presentation. I was so much impressed by the, the just concluded uh, case. Absolute case. It was, I mean, you were like, I was like I was in the course. You know, the delivery was perfect. This clap for them. It was excellent, excellent. You know, you are like, you are in it. I was thinking that they are the lawyers. <laughs> because of their communication and, you know, the excellence of their delivery was, was perfect. And this is attributed to the grace they are enjoying in the life of the esteemed Pastor Fela. Please clap for them. And we also had uh, that young boy, what is his name now? Kindness. Kindness. Kindness is going far. <laughs> Kindness is going very far, you know. Very, very far. <laughs> God has given him wisdom. Wisdom. I mean, that guy can stand anywhere. You know, he can stand on any platform in this world. And he will not bring shame to us. God is increasing his wisdom and it keeps getting better and better. Now, when you see this happening in the church, one of the things that you would attribute to that is that the brain are growing. You know, you can see growth in your life, you can see unity, you can see oneness. That is what brings about growth in the church. And I want to use the opportunity to thank every member of this church. Hallelujah. You, know, you, are, you have shown extreme love to your pastor. You have shown us that you really love your pastor and really appreciate him. Hallelujah. And I want to thank you. And I can only say that, you know, the same grace that God has given unto him will keep manifesting your life. Who keeps in promotion. You know, we have the testimonies you know, people are testifying of the prophetic word that Pastor Peter has spoken in their life and those work came to pass. One of the ways to know a true man of God is by the word that he speaks. And you see those who are coming to pass in the lives of the brethren. Hallelujah. We can see the church growing. We can see several testimonies. I'm not just like Dicky was saying. I knew about that when, when you know, things were not like this. And we are seeing his loyalty, his faithfulness to the work of God, to the ministry. And that is why the life is the way he is today. God has blessed him. Hallelujah. And it's as a result of his faithfulness, of his commitment to the work of the ministry. Hallelujah. And now, the brethren has come together uh, to put together a special gift. You know, I, 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 I told Pastor Eden you know, that, can I look at what the brethren has given me? He said, I can open the envelope. When I saw it, I spoke in tongue. <laughs> it was something, you know, that uh, you have done well. And you are going far. Yeah, yeah you are going to go far. You know, this seed that you are giving was bigger than last year on. Because I saw last year on. This was bigger than last year. And the presentation was far better than last year. Yes, Hallelujah. And I want to thank you so much for bringing this gift together to present to your man of God. You are not doing it because you lack anything. You're doing it because you want to be a partaker 
or the grace of God at work in his life. You have seen God's grace in his life. That grace has promoted him. And all of you put this together because you want to be a partaker of that grace. Hallelujah. And I'd like to make welcome Pastor Fela. You know, on behalf of all the members of Christ Embassy in Jacob, Abundant Grace. You can stand up your feet to honor him. And I'm presenting on behalf of the church, I'm presenting this special gift to you. The brethren loves you, and the brethren are saying that they appreciate all that you have done for them, all that you are to them, and they are saying, they are giving this token to say they love you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. What do you say to Pastor Vela? Okay, we are going to call the king. You can sit down right here, uh, Pastor Vela. Of the Lord. Yes, we are going to join our pastor in cutting this cake while we all rise up on our feet. And because this is our month of grace, we are going to spell grace, which is so abundant in this place, isn't it? Yes, and then we are going to cut the cake. So let's go as we cut together. G. G. R. A. C. E. I want to start by saying I'm so grateful to you. Thank you. I'm so grateful to my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ, the Savior of my soul, my Lord and my Master, who has called me. Who saved me and called me to do this? And I want to say thank you to uh, a dead man of God, the president of our nation, Love World Nation, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilo, for putting us in ministry and giving us a platform to minister. If not for pastor, if not for ministry, we will not know one another. So we are forever grateful to God for sending Pastor Chris to us. And I want to say thank you to our esteemed group pastor, Pastor Joseph Izuri. You know, Pastor has been a loving father, a caring father. All that we do is what we see because it's all that we can you know, study closely. It's, it's what we see Pastor doing. That is what we're doing. Like, they can say that time that follow, 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 follow pace. So when we, when we, when we, when we see Pastor doing something, we want to come and replicate the same thing here in Christ's embassy upon our life. And I want to thank Pastor, you know, especially for taking this time, as we all know that Pastor is very busy. And that's why that they have a program at the group church. Pastor still find time to come. I'm so grateful to him, you know, for his mentorship over the years, for the grace that flows from him. And I'm so grateful to him, you know, for the words of grace and words of prophecies that he has spoken to us. You know, I, when, when, when he was speaking those words, I was receiving them not only for myself, but for every one of us in this place. Pastor said we have moved, and we have moved. Pastor said it's a new level, and it's a new level. Hallelujah. And I want to take my, and the esteemed pastors that grace this occasion, starting from a uh, very senior, the bishop himself. Thank you so much, sir. You know, bishop has always been coming. That's why that he, he pastor in our work. He will ensure he find his time. If we say Sunday evening, he will come. If we say Saturday, he will come. Thank you so much, sir. I really, really appreciate you, sir. And thank you, sir, uh, Pastor Peter Ndugwesi. Thank you so much. You know, Pastor Peter was uh, a subgroup pastor in those days. 
if I would see more grace, you know, to, to come up. Thank you so much, Pastor Peter. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you, uh, my old belly dicky. You know, <laughs> okay, we have two dickies. <laughs> Add dicky. Thank you so much, Dicky Larry, for coming. We love you, and I really appreciate you, sir. Thank you, uh, Pastor John Gideon. You know, Pastor John Gideon, I don't need to tell you much about him. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming. Anywhere you see me, you see Pastor Mogidi. And anywhere you see him, you must also see me. Thank you. Thank you. I love you so much. Uh, Pastor Visayo, thank you for coming. Thank you so much. I thought you would come with your wife. But my special regards to her. Thank you. And thank you, our Diki. Thank you so much. You know, uh, Diki, Diki is a Diki. We are together in this sort of group, and uh, I, I really want to appreciate them for their love, for their concerns, for what they do in ministry, for their humility. You know, thank you so much, sir. Thank you, ma'am, for coming. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to thank my elder sister is here. Thank you so much, ma'am, for coming. And I want to thank uh, my colleagues that came from. Uh, Found what is rated. So he left. Right. Same time, I appreciate him. Thank you. I'm from all the way from Nigeria, Kasaba Association. That is my very own association. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Bola, for coming. Thank you. The kids, no? they are my kids. Thank you for coming. God bless you. And I want to say thank you to all the abundant grace members. Go ahead and clap, please. You know, everyone has been coming up, thank from a man of God, an esteemed good pastor. They said they found excellence in you. That means as we are following pastor, you too, you are following. Thank you so much. No bishop has said everything he said. This year was far, far better than last year. And that was what I wanted to see. What you did last year amazed me. And I was looking at this. You, you, you know, you did so much, but look at what you are doing or what you did today. You know, it's amazing. That means grace has increased. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for the seat. Thank you for the unity. Thank you for the cooperation. If you didn't cooperate with me, there is nothing I can do. But thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for your love. You know, I can see everything that you were able to put up. The drama, the dance, you know, the greetings and the the, the, the arrangements, uh, you know, the balance, all that you did. I heard that was it on Wednesday or Thursday that you had to do overnight, all because of me. I said thank you. Thank you. And you know, with all my heart, I love you. Bless you. Pastor has prayed for you, and all that Pastor has said will come to pass. And grace has come, grace has increased in your finances, grace has increased in your job, in your businesses, in your work in ministry, in your sales, in your Bible study classes. Grace has come in your department, grace has increased. Thank you. God bless you. And uh, I cannot forget to thank my wife. Thank you so much, my beautiful wife. Thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you, thank you. You know, uh, at my back, I know it was also you know planning with the leaders when I see them and I ask, what are you discussing? Don't worry, you just you just relax. Thank you so much for all that you do, Joseph. Thank you. Joshua Wells, thank you. Mincha, thank you. Like I told you, anywhere you see me, you see Pastor Shilke. Anywhere you see Mincha, you see Joseph. <laughs> thank you, God bless you. I really appreciate you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
I know maybe some of you have not taken control of that yet with your pastor. You will have the opportunity to do all of that. It's okay. The one of those now. Praise God. So happy birthday to Pastor Fela once again. You know, Pastor, when uh, Pastor Peter was talking to the bishop, I know something about um, prophets and all of that. I remember then we used to call it Prophet Agabus, you remember? <laughs> because the prophecy will come to pass. And when we have meetings those days, he must prophesy. You know? If Pastor Fela has not prophesied, the meeting is not coming so close. We pass a weekend. I'm sure you remember these days, you know, and they come to pass you know, on point. Even I think you are prophesied to pass to me also. Yeah, yeah them. And it came to pass too. Praise so God. So we'll close now. Like I said, the celebration continues. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Okay, maybe we should just share the verse. Pastor has prayed. The bishop has prayed. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for the awesome time we've had here this evening as we gather together to celebrate our brother our pastor our husband father and we thank you for making a blessing to to serve not just those of us who are here but to serve all around the world and Lord, we know even as pastor has prayed for him and man of god has prayed for him we know it's from glory to glory for him we know it's from victory to victory we know it's from faith to faith and we know even as a man of God, I declare this month to be the month of grace. That grace is working, you know, so much, so much in his life, ministry, and vocation in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We thank you, Father. We leave here tonight with your presence, with our anointing and our spirit to influence our world. And we thank you for the brethren, for all that they have done. Even as the pastor has prayed, we thank you, Father, for their lives will never be the same again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the church is growing from faith to faith. We're growing in leaps and bounds in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. The testimonies are coming for us. From everyone who was a part of this, in the name of Jesus Christ. We'll leave you with your presence. We thank you for our first steps on this in the name of Jesus Christ. We'll give our praise and glory. For Jesus' mercy, we we'll pray. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet worship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. In Jesus' name. Amen. Cheer up, everyone. Have a beautiful night. The celebration continues.